Well, we're going to Philadelphia. So it's gonna take about one hour, 57 minutes to get there. Mr. Taco, Mr. Taco, you wanna come to Philadelphia? Oh, I wish I could, man. Mr. Taco. Seatbelt first. So with any trip, it's important to stop and take a rest. Okay, and stretch. So we just arrived in Delaware. You probably hear a lot of background noise because I switched microphones again. So I'm gonna go walk around and the rest stop a little bit, then I'm gonna get back on my way. Pennsylvania. I'm having trouble seeing. Maybe I should, there we go. Should probably turn this way. It's actually a really, really beautiful day and it's a very beautiful city. I really miss being here in Philadelphia. Studio Incominati, as I remember, I think is in somewhere in this building over there. But let's get a little bit of a panoramic shot. Sorry, it's kind of really bright out, but yeah. Oh my god, we're going to Incominati! This is exciting! Oh man, I really miss being here. So yeah, I was a student at uh, Studio Incominati for about two semesters. So here we are coming back to my origins. All right, my buddy David Clark let me into the school. I got the, uh, the password, but I'm here super early, so I don't really know uh, what's going on. Hopefully I'll run into some of the artists that I know. Looks like there was a nice lecture going on behind me. All right, so Andy said anything that's on the walls and not in a private studio, I can record. So this is, uh, well, let me change the light sensitivity again. So this is a Dan Thompson drawing. Dan Thompson is one of the instructors. I think he's now like the director or something. Don't quote me on that. But this is Dan Thompson's, uh, one of his graphite drawings. It's really wonderful to see uh, one of his graphites in person. He is an extremely, extremely Wonderful draftsman. So this is a Stephen Early. And remember, if it's on the walls, it is fair use. So as long as I'm not recording in an artist's private studio, according to my buddy Andy Anelli, I can record. Isn't this wonderful? Look at these paintings. Well, uh, I think these are prints. If I'm not mistaken, I think these are prints of the actual paintings. These are commissions. Uh, these were commissions for the... There we go. There we go. Here's the information that I'm looking for. The face-to-face... Face-to-face the craniofacial program portrait project. And you know, I think that uh, In Common Audio also made a video about this uh, project in particular. The craniofacial program. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to insert a link in the description box down below to that video, the one talking about uh, these, uh, these commission pieces, uh, just so you can have a little bit more context to it. I know it's a print, it's a print, but I mean, look at the amazing quality of this work. Even the sketches there. Look at the hands. 
this one before. And again, this is Stephen Early. Let's look up here. So this one's kind of high up, but it's a wonderful, wonderful work by uh, Robin Fry. Robin Fry is the artist that I lived with when I was in Studio in Kaminati. So I have to really raise my camera so you can see. But man, isn't this just astounding? Look at that. Wonderful. And here we have, uh, ooh, uh, how am I going to pronounce this one? Deborah Schaefer? Schaefer? Uh, if you're watching this, I'm sorry if I don't know how to pronounce your name. But again, very, very wonderful use of color and shape. Extraordinary painting. There's another Deborah, Deborah Schaefer. I'm so sorry if I mispronounced your name. This one's a Carrie Dunn. Look at the structure on the, not to mention the flesh tones. And then the contrast between the subtlety of the flesh tones and the kind of uh, flatness of the shirt and then in contrast with the puffy quality of the teddy bear it's a really nice play on texture amazing here we have another another Robin Fry of uh, let's see Gracie and again I'm really really in a tight corner so I can't really get a oh, pretty good shot of this one. Alright, great news everyone. So we're going to visit the art studio of Christopher and Nixon. So let's go ahead and walk into here. So that was an awesome tour of Christopher Nixon's artwork, a very, very uh, talented artist, but a very good thinker as well. So let's go ahead and continue moving on down here. All right, you ready to take a tour of another awesome art studio? So we're going to take a tour of the art studio of the artist, Jason Patrick Jenkins. So let's get to it. This is an incredible day. Check this out, everyone. Look at the set. The artists haven't started yet, so we're free to record. Look at the set. Look at all the cameras. I mean, I can't even begin to describe how exciting this is. 
to see all of this set up. I mean, you know me, you know that I like to record myself creating artwork and all of that, but you know I'm not a professional video maker. So to be able to see this, and of course I aim, I aim to be a more professional video maker. This is an incredible learning experience for me. I mean, look at the, look at the lighting. Even the angle, the angles with respect to the canvas or the drawing materials are mapped out. Check out these cameras. I really feel like I'm in the set of a movie. Seems like I'm in a movie set. I'm even using their light. <laughs> ah, this is awesome. Yes, this is definitely the highlight of my entire year to be able to see a professional video production set and to be able to see it, not, not just a video production set, but a video production set on art demonstrations. In particular, it's gonna be a drawing demonstration, two drawing demonstrations, and one that is a sculptural relief. So again, let's do this again, let's do this again. Isn't this amazing? Look at the setup. Look how organized it is. I mean, look at this. There's like even a weight balance. I mean, there's some physics going on here. Like, it is so impressive. So impressive. I can't even begin to describe how exciting this is to be able to see this setup before the filming takes place. And when the filming actually takes place, you know, you know I'm not going to record another person's content. So I'm gonna be over there. I'm gonna be seated somewhere over there. This is so exciting. <laughs> Look at all of this. Even the drawing materials. I hope I don't get in trouble for this. I'm filming the drawing materials in the drawing paper. And again, if I happen to upload this YouTube video before uh, this live stream gets put onto YouTube, I'll leave a link in the description box down below to where you can access the video. And in the future, once this video is uploaded to YouTube and you want to see, so if you're watching this in the future and you want to see exactly what they produce, in this demonstration there will be a link in the description box down below so you feel free to check it out and if you haven't seen any of studio and Kaminati's uh, live streams they have two other ones on their youtube channel so again i'm going to leave a link down in the description box down below so you can see the uh, previous two years of the uh, live facebook live demonstrations look at that we even have a tv we have a tv isn't this awesome? This is just a really great day. I'm just telling you. I'm telling you, this is probably one of the best days of my life to be able to come here and to see all of this. All right, the demos, the demos are now over. It was an incredible experience, both for me watching the people develop the uh, actual footage, the behind the scenes camera stuff, as well as the actual artists. So it was a double learning experience for me. So how about we go ahead and get some uh, close up images of the artwork that was created today. to the YouTube video that will be uploaded featuring the content that I witnessed here live in person. And like, like I said, this really did get very technical. Is it okay if I show some of the, like, the wires and all this? I, I love the mess. <laughs> I love seeing all of this stuff. Man, was 
that an experience? Well, it's time to start heading back home. This room actually brings back a lot of memories. So this is where I was first trained back in 2011, my first initial gesture drawings, charcoal drawings. Yep, very uh, nostalgic moment here.